بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters when we come to know that Imam Mahdi alayhi salam cares for us then we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that and this caring is of different types Imam Mahdi cares for us in terms of his thinking. His thoughts is about us. He doesn't think about himself. He thinks about us. He thinks about our guidance. He thinks about our peace. He thinks about the whole ummah. How can it be better? This is a reflection of what the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam used to say, ummati, ummati. But Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, as a leader of this ummah, has given us some guidance, which if we follow these guidances, then we'll be able to be guided. For example, in one hadith, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, he has been narrated that he said, Man kana fi hajatillah, kana Allahu fi hajati. Anyone who will try to fulfill something which is connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill his whatever needs and whatever he wants from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man kana fi hajatillah. If you take care of something which is connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of taking care of humanity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of whatever you want him to take care of. Here we see this connection in a beautiful way that not only we say we are connected with Imam Mahdi and we want him to pray for us, we want him to do this and that. It is we need to do business of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order for the dua of Imam Mahdi to benefit us. Why? Because Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, yes, he prays, for, he, plays, he, he prays for us. Yes, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam prays for us. But Imam Mahdi, of, of course, he's connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He doesn't stand on his own for the sake of himself. Whatever he does is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this hadith is very correct that if we are in haja with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have you seen, for example, when we do dua, we say hajat, we need to ask for our hajat and we raise our hands, we ask Allah to fulfill our hajat. It is as if Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, he says, yes, Allah will fulfill your hajat. But you need to fulfill the, those responsibilities which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. This is a saying of the one who cares. You can see the parents, the father, the mother, they may say this to their children. You want me to do this? You do this. We will do that for you. It doesn't mean that Allah needs us. But yes, he wants us to care for whatever responsibilities we need to discharge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us able to fulfill the hajat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his ibad in order for Allah to take care of us through Imam Mahdi, Ajjal Allahu Farajahu Sharif. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.